2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. Bird. What is a speckled bird? Bird is 
speckled bird. A speckled bird is a bird that has all different kind of colors on its feathers right. and its wings. Meaning, what is that saying? That the Israelites will look like every race. That's you understand? Right. They will come in different colors. It, don't, it does not mean that a white man was there. It does not mean that. You understand? They will come in different shades. That's what God says. Because we are the greatest of all people. Right. Did it again. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. A speckled bird is a bird, I'm going to say it again, is a, is a bird that has different spots on it and they different colors on it. All right? So that's what he's saying. The Israelites in the last days will look just like a speckled bird. What, what's right. heavy, what the brother is saying is heavy information. You know what's different about the Israelite movement? This is God's movement. That's the right. Black Panthers in the 1960s, the Lord used them to help the community. The uh, Brown Berets, Mexicans, the Lord used them to help the people. The, uh, what was the uh, Young Lords, Puerto Ricans, the Lord used them and they had their time. This is a different movement because this is backed by the Most High God. Yes, sir. We're just vessels. All we are are the vessels. Listen, get that. Give me Matthew. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. Why do we come out here? We come out here because our people are strung out on drugs, sin, prostitution, broken homes. You understand? Most black families are broken. Most. Latinos as well, broken. Native Americans, broken. Listen, this is the answer that Christ said. Read. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent. What did he say? Repent. What did he say? Repent. What did he say? Repent. Did he tell us to be a Jehovah Witness? Did he tell us to be a Pentecostal? Did Christ tell us to be a Mormon? Baptist? No! Christ said what? Repent! Meaning change. Right. Change. Change. Why? Black people need change. Hispanic people need change. But who's going to do it? You have to do it. You have to do it. If you are a married woman committing adultery, you are worthy of death by the Most High God. You have to repent. A black man committing adultery, you are worthy of death. So this movement isn't about color, it's about redeeming Jacob. That's you, that's you, that's you. Read it again. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. So what we're teaching is repentance. Is repentance, meaning how do you change your life? When you see the Israelites, the first thing that you're going to think of, those are the brothers that teach repentance. No longer are you going to see us and say, oh, those are the brothers who just teach the white man's the devil. It's larger than that. It is larger than that. You're going to say, those are the brothers who teach how to raise a family. They show with scripture. Read it again. From that time, the time of Christ. What color was Christ? He was a dark-skinned man. That's right. Very dark-skinned man. Right. How do we know that? Because it's in the Bible. That's right. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's at hand. Even till now, it's at hand. But what is our job? Ask him to come right back up. This is our job. Give me um, 1 Corinthians 6. What happens when you repent? What happens when you repent is, once you repent, you're going to receive something called the Holy Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit isn't a shaking. The Holy Spirit is not the Harlem shake. The Holy Spirit is, you're going to have the Spirit of Christ on you. People are going to be able to see you and say, why do you act the way you act? You understand? The Most High is going to be in your life. That's what happens when you truly repent. You're going to be moving by the Spirit of Christ. And you'll understand what the Bible means when it says, and the Holy Ghost came upon you. You understand? There's a certain spirit when you keep, there's a spirit behind keeping God's laws. Read this. 6 and 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not? Don't you know, Paul said, that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? 
The unrighteous are not going to inherit the kingdom of God. Come on. Be not deceived. Don't be tricked. Why? Because churches trick you. Churches teach you that. Listen. Just believe on Jesus. God is in your heart. Give a little money. Give a little money. That's what it's all about. I read an article. Creflo Dollar tried to get his congregation to raise $60 million. And he almost did it. But he stopped because of the backlash behind it. You understand? So you know what we got to do? We got to think on that level. Let's raise up as much money as we can to go to these different countries and teach this gospel. This gospel. Not the gospel of prosperity. The gospel of that blacks and Hispanics are the real Jews. Right. That's right. That blacks and Hispanics must repent. Right. Come on, read on. Be not deceived. Come on. Neither fornicators. Neither fornicators. Nor idolaters. Nor idolaters. Listen get to this, brother. Come closer. Listen to this. Read. Nor adulterers. Nor adulterers. Nor effeminate. Nor effeminate. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. What does that mean? Homosexuality. God is listing all of the things that our people must change from. Read. Nor thieves. Nor thieves. Nor covetous. Nor covetous. Nor drunkards. Drunkards. Nor revilers. Revilers. Come on. Nor exhaustion. Extortioners. Extortioners is what a lot of ministers do. They look for scriptures where they can get money from the people. Come on. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. Now everything we read, don't black people fall somewhere in that category? Whether it's about getting money, whether it's homosexuality, whether it's lesbianism, whether it's a thief, whether it's a liar. The Bible says all these things, if you're doing it, you're not going to get the kingdom. Watch this though. Verse 11. Oh. And such were some of you. What did that say? And such were some of you. Such were some of you. Meaning the followers of Christ all came from these different lifestyles. You understand? They all came from these different lifestyles. So what? Repentance is open to all of us. It's our job to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to change. I'm going to start following that Bible. As a sister, I'm going to wear dresses, skirts every day. That's what you have to do. Dresses, skirts every day. Read that last part. And such were some of you. And such were some of you. So do you understand? Yeah, I agree. So if I heard you say, do you agree that Christ is black? <laughs> I agree with what the Bible says. So that means he says that he was dark, he was man, dark skin, just like you said. So that means he's what? I agree with what you said. That he's a what man? What type of man is he? A black man. According to the Bible, Christ According is a According to a dark skin man. Yes. The Jesus that we have been taught on the earth is man. That is not the Jesus of the Bible. I, I agree. Don't waste time on me, because I agree with 90% of what you're saying. Now, because I heard you over there, I, I, I didn't want to fight. I didn't want to fight. Don't waste time on me. I agree with 90% of what you're saying. Hey. Your message is true. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org